on one of our trips, we visited a park that gave us one of our scariest moments ever, and then also one of our funniest. We had one family trip that included a visit to a park that had one of the scariest moments a couple of our family members have ever had at a theme park. And then also in the same trip, one of the funniest moments at that same park. It happened during a trip to Costa Rica. We were actually down there for just over a week on a family vacation as well as a work trip. The second week that we were there was actually the working part and we thought what fun, what an opportunity to take a trip take the kids with us and go see a country and an experience they never would get to otherwise. We included days where we went out to the Poas Volcano, which is an active volcano. It was really cool. We took a cruise down the Sarapiki River. We got to explore and see San Jose, the capital city, and so much of it. Well, towards the end of that first week, we actually had found out that there was a small little amusement park there called Parque de Diversiones and thought, hey this could be fun and of course the theme park not me and the roller coaster addict is going there's roller coasters there i need to go so i can go ride these things and add them to my list and be a nerd we thought it would be kind of fun to to give the kids kind of sort of a taste of home but at the same time still something from another country that would still be a neat experience so we headed over and we found this beautiful little amusement park just very well maintained Obviously, a lot of love and TLC put into this. It has a couple roller coasters, including an old Vacoma corkscrew. I had an old Cyclone, which was a little bit of a rough ride, but not too bad. Had a great little drop tower, which was actually their new ride for the year, apparently. Really neat water flume ride. The water was kind of green, so that was interesting. But at the same time, it was a lot of fun. Just a number of great little rides. When you walked in, they stamped your hand, and that was kind of your pay one price to get into the park. And we went out and went exploring and rode several of the rides. Had a great time. Some of them typical carnival rides. Some of them not so much. And just a, a very pretty park. Some very unique things in it. A little miniature city that the kids could pretend was a real city. And just some really nice, unique things about it. Well, as we're exploring, I'm trying to ride everything I can. If it's open, I want to ride it because that's the kind of person I am. And the kids are riding as much as they can with me. And my wife is a little bit more laid back. Hey, slow down. Take it easy. We'll ride whatever. We had been there for a few hours and we came up to the bumper cars. Now, I love bumper cars. Bumper cars are awesome. My son loves bumper cars. Hey, let's go race in these things. And my wife and daughter are okay with them? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Keep in mind, this is not the United States. So while they're maintaining everything, they're doing a wonderful job, they don't have some of the same restrictions on this. Also, if you tend to forget, a regular bumper car, the way it steers is if you turn your wheel all the way to the left, or all the way to the right, you go backwards instead of forwards. It's a backwards turning thing. I'm with my son. My daughter is with my wife. Apparently it had been quite a while since my wife had driven bumper cars. And she forgot that to go forward, you have to keep the wheel in the middle. That if you turn it all the way, one way or all the way to the other, you go backwards. And she got herself stuck in a corner and couldn't get out because she couldn't figure out how to drive a bumper car. She still argues with me to this day that the car wasn't working, but I know it was working because I know how they work. <laughs> not only that, but these bumper cars are not limited in their speed like a lot of the ones in the US are. These things are fast. So when she's in the corner, she's not just thumping it a little bit. It's wham, wham. And they're hitting these sides pretty hard. There's other people that are hitting pretty hard. And I mean, these are fast cars. They're hard hitting. My son and I are having a ball my wife and daughter are starting to freak out because they can't get out of the corner my wife can't figure out how to steer and not only are they hitting the walls pretty hard in this corner but there's other people that are coming up and laying into them and they start to panic and start to worry and they start getting afraid that they're going to get hurt because they're getting banged around pretty good and as i'm driving along all of a sudden i hear my wife and my daughter starting to yell and scream stop the ride stop the ride except my wife is doing it in a mix of spanish and english and 
trying to get the right attendance because they're just having a terrible time and she's starting to get afraid that she's going to die. Meanwhile, we're still racing and I'm starting to look over and get a little worried. What's going on? Why are you having a hard time? What's happening? It's starting to look ugly. And finally, the ride operator realizes that ooh, what's going on and these dumb Americanos are just not doing what they should be. He stops the ride for them and my wife and daughter proceed to practically run off the ride. Then, of course, they're yelling at me that Joseph and I have to get off the ride as well. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Now, normally in Latin American countries, my wife is the expert. And at this point, I felt like the bad American kind of walking head of shame. I'm so sorry. But they were terrified. They were utterly scared. My wife, to this day, still thinks still remembers that as the one time she was afraid she was going to get hurt in the park. My daughter, Miss Daredevil, was not happy. They were just bad ride, bad experience. If you talk to them, they nothing good to say about that particular ride. They like the park, but that ride is a traumatic memory for them. And I, I felt bad. And I'm looking at the bumper cars going, but we were having fun and I wanted to go some more. Good husband, good dad had to kick in. Had to calm my wife and daughter. It's okay. You're not going to die. They still don't like to talk about how to steer bumper cars. Um, in fact, my daughter ever since then has been kind of and my wife doesn't do them anymore. Oh, such a tragedy. But the park also had one of the funniest moments we've ever had at a park. Because we had been at Costa Rica for about a week at this point. My son is a very picky eater. In fact, if he had his choice, he would live on pizza, chicken nuggets, and peanut butter sandwiches, and maybe some ramen. So that would be his diet. Hey, he'd be a happy boy. Costa Rica doesn't generally eat that way. So he had had a week of eating fruits, vegetables, little bits of meat, local food, and it was just not a good time in that regard. He was eating, occasionally we would find a hamburger, but it still didn't taste quite the same for him, and he just felt like he was dying. His poor little picky eat habits were going crazy. And as we walk around this park, they actually have an enclosed indoor food court, and there's a local little juice place, and then it has something that looks like it has chicken nuggets and maybe some hamburgers. And at this point, his eyes start to light up, and then he sees what's right next door to that one. And alas, I didn't get a good picture, but you could have heard him cry, probably for half the park. Pizza! Yes, this little boy's heart was just magnified at the sight of pizza. Not just foreign pizza. It tasted to look like American pizza. Okay, it wasn't quite the best pizza, but after this poor kid had gone for a week with nothing American, oh, pizza! You thought he was worshipping his food. I want my pizza! Yes, we made Joseph a very happy boy, and we still tease him to this day when we go past the pizza parlor. Pizza! <laughs> you ever want to make your kid happy? Give him pizza after he's been out of the country for a week. <laughs> it really was a beautiful park. If you ever get down to Costa Rica, please go check it out. It's called Parque de Diversiones. This is the one souvenir I got. It's the shirt that they were selling that year. And I actually keep it put away. I've never worn it. Uh, but and I love the ah on the back <laughs> for the drop tower. But just an absolutely beautiful park. And one that I would love to go back again. Costa Rica is a gorgeous country and well worth a visit. So... Don't miss it if you get the opportunity. So have you ever had a really scary moment at a park? Especially one that turned out to probably not be as scary as you thought it was? Or a really funny moment? I would love to hear it. Please share it in the comments below. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit that button. Be sure to hit the like button. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you as well. Lots of information in the description below on merchandise, fan pages, how to get a hold of me, and so much more. So be sure to check that out. Thank you so much to my financial supporters, my YouTube members, and my patrons are my financial backbone and allow me to do so much. If you want to know more about those and the perks that come with them, be sure to check the links in the description below. Thank you so incredibly much for watching and God bless. We got to visit one park one time. That would have been redundant. <laughs> we were down there for over a... Whoop. In the course of that trip, we got to visit a theme... Oh my goodness. Okay. And got to explore and see Co San Jose. 
Okay. Oh, this little eight, eight year old, 10 year old. Lots of information in the notes. Oh my goodness. Thank you as well to my fan. Okay, I think we got it. Bye.